Hi, I'm Diego Charbonnier, Technical Field Associate here at the Gothenburg Learning Center. And today's topic is about side dressing nitrogen in corn. As you can see, I'm in a corn field that is around V5, V6 stage. And uh, this is a good moment to apply some extra nitrogen. Side dress nitrogen application, in addition to a pre-plant application, has some um, benefits compared to a pre-plant application only. Those benefits include applying nitrogen closer to when the crop is needing and also you can uh, prevent some uh, losses and you can fine-tune uh, the nitrogen needs by applying extra nitrogen uh, if you are expecting higher yields. But if you apply something before planting or even at planting, you can go up until V8 and uh, probably you will not suffer any yield losses because of that. Obviously, it will depend on your uh, soil nitrogen and also how much nitrogen you applied before that. To determine the best option for an in-season nitrogen application, we should consider a nitrogen source, growth stage, and also the potential of nitrogen losses. Talking about application methods, we have either injection into the soil, broadcast applied, or uh, banded on the surface. When injecting, you can use either anhydrous ammonia or UAN. You just need to be careful with uh, anhydrous ammonia because you can harm the roots if you are too close or you damage the roots. That could affect uh, corn yield. And also try to look at soil conditions to be sure that you're closing the knife row to prevent any nitrogen loss. For banded applications, UAN is a common source. You can place it close to the row that will prevent some of nitrogen losses, but it will not be like injecting into the soil. Uh, the benefit of banding is that you can go uh, later in the season to apply some, some extra nitrogen compared to the injection into the soil. You can also have a broadcast nitrogen application, but you will need to select the correct source for that. UAN is not the preferred uh, source because of uh, burns, but you can do it early in the season. If the plants are small, they will recover. But if you want to apply, um, uh, do a broadcast application, granular urea is preferred because you can apply uh, a little bit later. You will still see some burns, but if the foliage is dry, the fertilizer will not stick into it and probably you will uh, minimize that uh, burning and probably some uh, yield losses in the future. And if you want to apply later in the season, uh, the dribble application method is preferred. Something like a white drop where you place the fertilizer close to the row. That's a, that's a good one when you want to avoid some uh, plant damage with any equipment and obviously root damage with any type of injection at that point of the season. So the potential for nitrogen loss after application and plant injuries should be considered when selecting the correct nitrogen source and application method. And finally, the ideal timing of a nitrogen application could change year to year and they will depend on weather conditions. And that's all we have from the Learning Center today and we look forward to sharing more information with you in the next weeks. Thanks for watching this video from the Gothenburg Water Utilization Learning Center. For more information, please call 308-537-4500.